Taylor Swift and Ticketmaster. You've seen it in the news, but for this episode, we're rewinding back. Past the hyperbole? Does Ticketmaster care about people? No. Past the emotion? Karma is gonna get Ticketmaster. And past the dramatic dog whistle use of the term? Monopoly. This is about monopolies because they're a monopoly. We'll rewind back to 1982, when Ticketmaster and their CEO, Fred Rosen, began their ascent to ticketing industry domination. When I went into business, a lot of people said to me, the ticket business is not a business. And I thought they all lost their mind. To understand how Fred and Ticketmaster changed the ticketing game. Anybody who says we should go back to the old ways of buying tickets has never done it the old way. And how, as a result, way, way before Taylor Swift had cried a single teardrop on her guitar, Ticketmaster was thrust into a public battle with one of the hottest bands of the early 90s, Eddie Vedder and Pearl Jam. Some smartass uh, who arranged the tables put our table right next to Ticketmaster's table over here. Along the way, we'll dig deep into the economics of the live music industry and actually answer the question, what is an illegal monopoly? Just because you're big doesn't mean you violated an antitrust law. It doesn't mean you have an illegal monopoly. Get your tickets here to how Ticketmaster became the anti-hero of the live music industry. Part one, no service fees required. 